peptides are those clever little cell messengers we hear so much about in skincare, but do you know the ones to look out for and why? Well, as a journalist who dedicates my time to exploring how to age well, look and feel good for longer, I've been doing a lot of digging to find the ones with the most evidence behind them. And I'm going to share today the peptides that stand out to me and why, and then I'll flag a few products that they can be found in across the price ranges, as well as my experience of using them. Plus, there's a secret to success with these products that will be key to seeing results. So while peptides are pretty much considered a mainstream skincare ingredient these days, there are still a fair number of experts out there who say that the research is not concrete enough, it's not peer-reviewed, though a few studies have been published in respected scientific journals. And as a consumer who's used them consistently in my skincare routine for a few years now, I think they've made subtle but noticeable improvements to my skin texture and skin health, and so I'm sticking with them. And a good peptide product should improve the hydration of your skin, as well as having a slight softening effect on wrinkles, particularly fine lines. They're not a miracle treatment yet, and I think they are definitely overhyped. So I wanna share a potted guide to some of the better evidence ones that are worth your attention, in my opinion. Peptides are small chains of amino acids that signal your skin to take a certain form of action like producing more collagen and elastin. Some can play a role in wound healing and skin regeneration, and some have a calming and soothing effect, while others help the skin retain moisture. But to have a visible effect on skin, they must reach the dermis, or the layer of skin that's home to the cells responsible for cellular repair, collagen and elastin and fibre production. To do this, generally the molecules should be small, under 500 Daltons, to pass through the skin barrier. And there are other features of peptides that can make them more or less likely to penetrate the skin, and so the best formulas have got this covered. We know, for example, that pentapeptides, composed of five or fewer amino acids, are more likely to penetrate skin because of their lower molecular weight. Or you can add a palmitol group to improve its chances or encapsulate peptides in liposomes. And today I'm just going to focus on peptides and not growth factors or exosomes which are related but take us down another winding road. So what are the standout peptides? Well, I mentioned they're pentapeptides and I think it's fair to say that one of the most evidenced in this category is metrixel or palmitol pentapeptide 4, which has demonstrated the ability to stimulate collagen and elastin production, treating wrinkles in a double blind split phase study, where on one side of the face they used just moisturizer, and the other side, the moisturizer contained the peptide. Now, neither participants or researchers were aware of the treated sides, and the side where they used the peptide showed improvement. It's also been shown in another clinical trial to have therapeutic effects for wound healing. And so there's now a matrixal family of peptides that I would want to see at least one of them in a product that's not either using natural biological growth factors and peptides or a new what they call proprietary or in-house peptide which is made and owned by a skincare brand who's carried out good quality clinical testing of their own and I'll give a couple examples of them in just a moment. So we've got that original matrixel peptide which is still commonly seen in anti-aging skincare formulations and is a safe bet. On top of matrixel we've now also got matrixel 3000 and the makers say it's a more advanced formulation that combines two peptides, palmitol tripeptide 1 and palmitol tetrapeptide 7. They also stimulate collagen and elastin production but tackle other concerns like uneven skin tone too. And there are a couple of controlled human studies supporting this, again not peer-reviewed but we do have some nice supporting research, including from the scientific team at skincare brand number no. 7 who worked in partnership with researchers at the University of Nottingham. Number no. 7 use Matrixel 3000 in their Protect and Perfect range along with other products uh, from them and they were able to establish by analysing skin stripped using tape from trial participants that the peptide formula had penetrated the skin barrier, which is of course crucial to being effective. And also in that matrixel group, we've got matrixel synth 6, often listed as palmitol, 
tripeptide 38, which is less well evidenced than Matrixyl 3000 and not as well established, but is still creating a buzz because of research suggesting it can stimulate the production of six major components of the skin's matrix. That's three different types of collagen, hyaluronic acid, and a couple of important proteins. And in most multi-peptide products on the market right now, you're going to see at least one of those matrixyl formulations listed. Another trademark peptide of note, which acts similarly to matrixyl synth 6, is tetrapeptide 21. Found in a clinical study to improve skin elasticity and skin smoothness, and also in another to have penetrated the skin barrier. And then there's copper peptides which a lot of you will have heard about and may already be using, they work by delivering copper, which is an essential mineral, to the skin, and it plays a role in collagen and elastin production. The best known is GHKCU, which was shown to accelerate wound healing in animal studies. And there have also been several placebo-controlled human studies which found that GHKCU improves skin quality in middle-aged women. So there's a little body of evidence around that one too. And from there, we move on to those peptides that have been made by skincare brands in-house. So the three that I think stand out are number seven, One Skin and Medic 8, with the first two especially showing some good science behind them. So I interviewed the scientists from number seven and the University of Manchester who created the peptides together that are used in their future Renew range. So I'm going to link that below. They did a couple of clinical trials which demonstrated results, but the most interesting was one where the peptides were placed under a patch, which was worn on the arms of eight volunteers, and a biopsy after 12 days showed that their skin under the patch had increased levels of fibrillin proteins that are thought to make skin more elastic. Then there's One Skin, which was created by a team of female scientists, and they have developed what they call the OS1 peptide. I recently, on my website, published a fairly comprehensive review of their entire range, which includes a face treatment, SPF, eye cream, body treatment, and now they've just launched a hair and scalp treatment. So I will link to that article in the description if you want to have a read. But to summarise, as we age, our skin starts accumulating senescent cells, often described as zombie cells that secrete pro-inflammatory substances that can degrade collagen production. And ones can say their OS1 peptide targets senescent or zombie cells which can build up as we age and cause inflammation. So the idea with their peptide is it prevents them accumulating and leading to the breakdown of collagen. And in a clinical trial where they applied their topical face supplement cream to a skin sample which was grown in a lab that then analysed, in the dermal layer, they found an amount of peptide had made it through the skin barrier. And they also did a split face trial involving 22 subjects, which showed an improvement in skin texture and function through a strengthening of the skin barrier. And then there's Medic 8 with their new advanced MP peptide serum. And the MP, I think, stands for mini proteins, which means they found a way to engineer the proteins to make them small enough to penetrate deeper into the skin where they can prompt cells to start doing things we want them to, or at least that's the theory. Medicaid say the formula is designed to activate the transforming growth factor receptors naturally found in your skin and which play a big role in triggering collagen, elastin and hyaluronic acid production. The mini protein is now a patented formula unique to Medic 8 with their clinical study showing a visible reduction in deep set wrinkles after eight weeks of daily use by 34 participants. But I did ask for a copy of the clinical study paper and have to date not received one. They just sent some summary findings from it with not a lot of detail. So we don't know the methods used to measure results, only that they were measured using instrumental and expert grading scales. On more familiar ground though, the formula also contains a 30% peptide complex, which incorporates matrixyl 3000 along with copper peptides. And the ingredient that's likely playing a big role in their promise of wrinkle smoothing results after just 10 minutes, and that's our giraline listed as acetyl hexapeptide 8. It's widely and cheaply available. It's thought to reduce muscle movement by inhibiting the release of certain neurotransmitters. It's also also water binding, so that in itself can help with lines by attracting moisture to the surface of your skin. There have been studies suggesting when topically applied, our giraline helps keep our skin hydrated and has some wrinkle reducing benefits, 
but in my experience, the results are very subtle. I've been trying the Medicaid formula out uh, every day at home for a couple of months now, and as always with their products, it's a sophisticated formula. They usually apply like silk and can be relied upon not to irritate. And this serum is fragrance-free too. I didn't really notice a skin smoothing effect 10 minutes after applying the serum. In fact, this is me scrutinizing my face here to check for any visible changes. 10 minutes in, I can't say I see some miraculous improvement in the lines around my eyes. I mean, even like a slight improvement, you know, or, or say this line here, a slight easing of it or anything like that. I don't know what that's about, this 10 minute impact. The only thing I could assume is that it would hydrate so well that your fine lines would appear smoother. Like, you know, when we get out of the shower and our skin's a bit drier, it tends to look more lined and then we get our moisturizer on or whatever. and you know, the skin looks smoother. So I was sort of expecting that impact. I've got to say, it's not it's not a terribly moisturizing serum. So I'm not even sure I've had that. So to me, the immediate results aren't really there. So at £79 or $92 for 30 milliliters, it is yet another pricey serum. Have I noticed any improvements in my skin more generally over the past couple of months since using the serum? Honestly, I can't say I have, but doing what I do, I am a regular user of market-leading peptides. So perhaps I've already had the benefits that I'm gonna see and there's nothing new to add. So what I'll do now is move on to a list of a few products with the most evidence peptides that we've talked about in different price ranges. And I'm gonna link below to a page that features most of the products I'm discussing today and any discount codes that I have for them. I don't have codes for every product, but I do for some. And I'm gonna start with the expensive ones. So in that upper price range for peptide serums, I would include Medicaid's new advanced formula on that list because it's, as I said, nicely formulated and it cleverly contains some of the most effective peptides around, plus their new patented mini proteins as well. Also in that upper price range of peptide serums, I'm gonna go with a serum that has a lot of consumer backing in terms of the number sold and the review ratings, and that's Drunk Elephant's Proteini Power Peptide Resurfacing Serum. It has a big mix of peptides in there, including some synthetic growth factors, but in there too is Matrixyl 3000 and Matrixyl Synth 6. So again, it's one that covers a lot of bases. It also includes lactic acid for exfoliation. It's typically priced around £74 or $82 for 30 milliliters, but shop around and you'll usually find a discount. In the mid-range, I'm gonna suggest a really smart all-in-one serum called Remedy for Healthy Aging, priced around £36 or $38 for 30 milliliters. Remedy's the skincare brand of Dr. Muneeb Shah, one half of the popular YouTube channel, Doctorly. Having researched effective skin ingredients for several years now, there are a few that stand out as being well-evidenced. Retinoids, as most of you know, are a given, but my particular favorite is retinaldehyde, which is present in this serum and gives it its pale yellow color, along with encapsulated retinol. It also includes Matrixyl 3000, as well as Argyroline, plus a bunch of bonus ingredients like niacinamide, ceramides, and antioxidants, resveratrol, and ferulic acid. These are the nice to haves that most of us can't fit into one skincare routine, so I love that this serum does everything for us. Also mid-range, I'd add number seven's Future Renew formula, which I already discussed, and is priced around 35 pounds for 25 milliliters, not dissimilar in dollars. And then there are a few very smart choices in the budget end. Firstly, my favorite is Geek and Gorgeous, known for their evidence-based products sold at reasonable prices. I've also interviewed their founder who really knows her stuff, so I will link that below. Their peptide serum is priced around $18 and 15 pounds. And it's another unfragranced, gentle, but smart formulation that sinks nicely into the skin. It's got Matrixyl 3000 in there and Synth 6 and Tetrapeptide 21, which I mentioned when I talked through the better evidence peptides earlier. And they are, used a slightly higher concentration than in a lot of formulas. And it also includes an encapsulated copper peptide for good measure. So an all round great value formula, in my opinion. There's also number seven's Perfect and Protect Advanced Serum, which is focused around a higher concentration of Matrixyl 3000. And they've tweaked the formula to improve penetration. And it's around £24.95 for 30 milliliters. 
A consumer favorite is the Ordinary's multi-peptide and copper peptide serum. It's uh, around 30 pounds, around the same in dollars as well for 30 milliliters, so sliding away from the budget end, but it's a good lower cost alternative to the Medicaid serum. The formula is not as sophisticated, it's not as easy and gentle on the skin, but it's good enough and contains Matrixyl 3000, Synth6, uh, the GHK CU Copper Peptide 2 plus Argiroline, which is why I liken it to that Medicaid formula. Finally, Timeless have some reasonably priced Matrixyl Synth6 or 3000 serums. Nice simple formulas for around $27 or pounds with good concentrations of these specific peptides. And a quick look at moisturizing creams with peptides across the price ranges now. At the budget end, I'd look at something like Olay Regenerous, which contains the original Matrixyl peptide. And that range performs really well on skin. It's deeply moisturizing, non-irritating, if you buy fragrance free. My husband loves their fragrance free day cream. It has really reduced the redness on his skin in fat. So that's that's a pretty good one to go for. Again, I'd opt for something like number seven, Future Renew or Drunk Elephant moisturizers in the mid range. And at the upper end, you have something like Allies of Skin, which has a multi-peptide moisturizer, which includes Synth6, that's nicely formulated and starts around 52 pounds, so slightly more in the UK or $37 in the US for just 20 milliliters. But I have a 20% discount code for that one. And in that upper, upper range, I'd have to go for One Skin's topical face supplement at the top end too, because it feels very good on your skin and of course includes their own peptide. It's £116 or $120 for 50 milliliters unless you subscribe for a discount and I have a 15% discount code which you'll find on the link below. Then finally at that higher end there's the Callisum multi-action cream that I've used for the past couple of years now but I cycle with cheaper products like Geek and Gorgeous because of the very high cost. So I've talked a lot about it on the channel. I won't go into detail here. I'm just going to link to a separate video below on it. But in short, it uses natural or biological growth factors and peptides, and they are present in their thousands. It's priced from £75, around $85 for their 20 gram starter tub and kit, and I have a 15% off code for that. And that rounds up my product selection. There will be other high performing products out there, but these are the ones that have stood out to me based on the science and value and my own experience. And as always, I wanna know what works for you. So do share that in the comments. Lastly, the secret to success with whichever peptide based product you choose, and is of course, consistency because we get FOMO with skincare and if we hear someone talking about something that's worked for them, we're really tempted to buy it. But our skin is different. Some people literally have thinner skin than others, more sensitive skin, more porous. Our skin microbiomes differ. So we need to first find products that feel comfortable on our skin and comfortable for our budget and that don't dry or irritate our skin. And then when you find something with the right ingredients that feels good on your skin, keep going with it for at least a few months to see a difference. I had a lot of information to share with you today and I really hope it was helpful, but do let me know. And in the description below, you are also gonna find a link for signing up to my free monthly newsletter where I round up all my latest articles and episodes so you don't miss anything from me. And there's a great product giveaway each month too, so subscribing is a win-win. And, don't forget to subscribe to the channel or podcast if you haven't already done that and then you can keep up with everything that I'm doing. Finally, a big thanks for being here today.